In EasyTurn, our turn mill product, we can program this entire part by simply selecting faces. Because we're focused on milling and drilling, I've created all turn operations in advance. We'll profile along the OD using a curved milling work step. With Smart Click, you select one face and EasyCam chains all the faces together that make up that profile. Now for our holes. Again with Smart Click, select one hole and EasyCam chains them all together. If you want to select individual holes, you simply click on the Shift key and pick your holes. Hit the Shift key again and you're back with Smart Click. We'll machine our slot. slot is located on the side of the part, left for the main chuck. We use our slot coordinate system, high speed machining, step over of one millimeter, Y axis, and let's take a finished pass around the profile. Select the bottom floor. And lastly for our flats, I'm going to switch coordinate systems over to 45 degrees, top view, make copies, increment the angle of 90 degrees, four copies. We've made some incredible enhancements to our turning software where you don't have to build curves any longer or even have to select surfaces in most cases. Let's take a look at a turn work step. We've also added templates. You can pick a tool from the library and all the settings for that tool will be populated. Uh, maybe if you changed a few features, you could either modify that tool or change the name. I'm gonna turn skip groove off Take a look at our automated toolpath. You can see that we're coming into a groove region where the tool has been 
uh, toolpath has been modified based on the geometry on the insert. So let's go in and we'll check skip groove. Another new feature would be to add a curve for a start and end point. Select either rapid or linear. Pick your location or type the coordinates. Go to machining, select curves to add that to the work step and verify. You can see we now have a start and an end point. First thing you want to do in Easy Turn and Easy Turn Express is to establish your stock. Pick a part material to load the corresponding templates. I'll compute our stock boundary and I will show our stock curve. Add a new turn work step. Select the tool from the library, loading its template. And EasyCam automatically gives me the tool path for turning. Now I'll use our new three quarter view. This allows me to snap to shoulders and diameters. Pick a new drill. I'll load a one inch drill. You'll see that we'll machine beyond the through hole. I'll grab a drill of another diameter, a larger drill. And you can see that we stop machining up to the shoulder. Now I'm going to highlight the turn work step. That's the active work step. I'm going to use the left and right boundaries. I want machining to stop here and start over here. And you can see the modification has been made.